Downton Abbey A New Era took the world by storm, with almost everyone from the series returning to reprise their roles once again in the much-anticipated sequel. The cast ensemble from the series and the two movies have been working together for almost a decade. Thus, they became so close that they look like one huge family. With no further ado, here are some new era bloopers and behind-the-scenes videos that are even better than the show. Enjoy the video and the spoilers. Wait, wait, wait! Who's he? Cut! Cut! Oh cut. no, it, it's, it's Mosley. Let's start off with this footage of Michael C. Fox, where he's preparing to get into character. It's really amazing to see so many people working on a film and realize the actors had to do a scene while ignoring all those people and cameras around them. Being an actor is not easy. The next behind-the-scenes footage shows the beloved Leslie Nicole also preparing for a scene. Damn, the creators truly paid attention to every detail. Nicole is then seen discussing her lines with people who we believe are the creators of the film. Is that Julian Fellows? Yes, that's definitely him. He explains to her how to deliver the line. Then we can see him talking to the fan favorite Robert James Collier. Again, there are so many people. By the way, did you guys know that a real family lives in the castle where the show is filmed? Oh. We wanna, we've got a few minutes lighting. And if I do checks, we can just look at that moment just before we shoot. Much better, yeah? Yep, it's not CGI, it's the Highclere Castle, home to the Karner Vaughan family since 1679. We were rightly proud of what we'd all achieved. The best thing is that you can visit the castle in the spring and summer, and it's also available for weddings. Anyway, here's a video of Downton's staff members out of character. Interestingly enough, the staff's quarters scenes were filmed in a studio. This is because the quarters our Highclere Castle didn't look good enough for the crew to film there, so the kitchen and servants' bedroom scenes were filmed in a London studio. We really wish to see another continuation of the franchise, but only if the entire cast returns. Do you guys think Downton should go beyond its second installment? Let us know. No, I just need a moment before we go. My lady. The next booper shows Anna Smith's Joanne Froggatt laughing hysterically. Sadly, we don't know what she's laughing about, but seeing Phyllis Logan next to her being all serious makes the whole scene even funnier. Honestly, I didn't like what they did with Anna and Bates in the series, and after doing my research about the series, I discovered that I'm not the only one unsatisfied with how the creators wrote Anna and Bates' storylines. What do you talk of shame? I don't accept that there's any shame in this. How did you guys feel about it? The following behind-the-scenes footage shows the fan-favorite couple, Mr. Carson, and his beloved wife, Mrs. Hughes. Discussing the film crew that came to Downton in the second film. In his own words, he thinks this is a bad idea as the actors and actresses about to arrive are rough and vulgar. Rough and vulgar actors and actresses. Never again. I've always loved Mr. Carson and his attitude toward new things. The scene itself is hilarious, as Mrs. Hughes is so calm, when, on the other side, Mr. Carson says he'd rather have a heart attack than welcome the film crew. This is why they're so good together, they're total opposites. Take a look at how many cameras are used to film a single scene. It really is crazy. Here we have the staff again as they prepare to get into character. Joanne Frogart looks like such a fun person to hang out with, don't you think so? At the end of the scene, she says that you need to smash the subscribe button and like button if you haven't done it already. Okay, seriously, did you know that Laura Carmichael was working in a doctor's office before she got cast to play Edith? Yes, that's right. She was working, actually, as a receptionist when she went to the audition for Edith. It's crazy how a person's life could change in just a moment. The next behind-the-scenes footage shows the dining room that looks absolutely amazing. Everything is perfectly set, literally everything. By the way, did you know that the food on Downton was real? Sadly, the crew was not able to eat the food because one single dish was used for days. If you're ever asked to describe Downton to someone who hasn't seen it, would you say it's like Breaking Bad? Hugh Bonneville thinks the show is like Breaking Bad. When asked to describe the series as a party for Downton Abbey's third season premiere, the actor who plays Robert Crawley joked that it's Breaking Bad with tea instead of meth. Well, it's close enough, only that it's not. You came back. I always, I always come, come back. back. Sorry. Cut! Sorry! Uh, everyone back to ones, please. Remember when we showed you the scene with the dining room? Well, here's a person polishing the pot. Seeing footage from a new era is incredible, it's basically a film being filmed in the film. Then there's a person filming behind the scenes of them filming the film. Mind-blowing, isn't it? Okay, next we have a scene with Robert and Cora discussing the villa Lady Violet inherited in France. She was given this villa by a man she met years ago, with whom she had a romantic relationship. And then we're seeing Robert getting his hair done. Viewers can then see a person fixing Elizabeth McGovern's dress. To be honest, I've never seen so many beautiful dresses in just one film project before. 
The Downton costume designers did an incredible job. Shout out to the person we should send thank you cards to, designer Anna Robbins, for bringing the film's numerous characters into the 1930s. But some of the costumes stink. We do stink as they don't wash our costumes. Sophie McShera, who played the cook's assistant Daisy, told the Daily Mail. When it comes to the locations used for the film and the series, there are a lot of crazy facts. For instance, did you know that there was only one bedroom set? Yes, you heard that right. Cora, Mary, and Edith all had the same bedrooms. The bedrooms look different because the creators redecorate the same bedroom over and over again. That's incredible. But how many outfits were used in Downton Abbey, a new era? While approximately 300 garments were shown over the duration of the movie, even though this sounds like a lot, it's not. When you compare this number to the number of dresses used in the Netflix hit period drama Bridgerton, you'll be surprised. According to the Bridgerton creators, the team made 7,500 pieces of costume, including all of the period-specific underwear. The female lead character in season 1 wore 104 costumes. The following footage shows the creators of the series watching a scene of Robert Crawley, a.k.a. Hugh Bonneville, discussing the arrival of movie stars in his estate. Good thing he left Lady Mary behind to keep an eye on all of them. Then we have a scene filmed on Downton's premises. For those of you still wondering whether we'll ever see another continuation, no, of the franchise, nothing has been confirmed yet, and the creators are still thinking about whether to continue the franchise. Most dedicated fans expect another film as the sequel left us with a lot of questions regarding everyone's future. The producers and fellows seem to be interested in the idea of making another follow-up, but they said it all depends on how well the sequel would go box office-wise and, well, if it receives positive reviews. Right, oh, let's so get back to work, please. Come, on, come along. So far, critics and fans have only praised the film, so we have no reason to worry because it's just a matter of time until the next Downton film is given a green light. We also know that you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. The third film could easily put the focus on Lady Mary as she's now the new captain of this state. Do you guys like this idea? Do you perhaps have any theories about the plot of the next film? Let us know. One thing I'm certain about is that the cast ensemble is the most prominent feature of the series. Besides the script, costume, scenery, and, well, everything else, the cast ensemble of Downton was spot on. Did you guys know that each episode cost more than a million euros to make? This crazy fact was revealed in Jessica Fellow's book, The World of Downton Abbey. This is about $1.5 million. See you in the next video.